So there are at least uh, four songs on this record that I wrote for our church, an Anglican church that Margie and I just became part of a year and a half ago. And um, we love this. We love the liturgy. We were drawn to the to the old liturgy. You know, we've been Presbyterians in the past, and there, that's that's somewhat of a liturgical service. But we were really drawn to um, the historicity of of the, the sense of history in the liturgy. Um, I would say, I would say um, that before we're Anglicans, we're we are still evangelicals. Uh, and uh, and I would say that's the truth true about that. I would say that's true about our church as well. Both of our priests are um, intervarsity staff, former intervarsity staff, so they bring that element, you know. But um, I think what draws me the most to Anglicanism is that, or, or or to liturgy is that you follow the church calendar. So the beginning of the year being Advent. Um, you, you follow Advent then to Christmas, to Epiphany, to uh, Lent, then to you know into Holy Week and, good, and Easter, and then uh, into Pentecost. But you, you you follow a narrative of Christ's life, and it seems to, to affect your prayer life, your devotional life, the things that you sing um, in your devotional life. Definitely, of course, the way I, I plan the, the services at our church, the music. It, you, it's, you're constantly reminded of that narrative of, of Christ's birth and through his death and resurrection. And in that time, there, there are seasons of, of waiting and longing, seasons of penitence, seasons of joy. And I think to have your Christian life colored and tinged by those things, it just seems like it makes it more rich. Or for me, it makes it more rich. So. I've loved the experience, and I think on this uh, on this record, that that definitely starts to come through. I plan to do several records in the future that that uh, will reflect that same kind of sensibility 